Ladies and gentlemen, today's in-depth review is of the Star Wars Black Series 3 and 3 quarters inch Ray Jakku outfit figure. Let's do this. So start off with the packaging it is a mini me version of the six inch right here to the right of her. It does not come with a BB-8. They charge $13 for this thing at Walmart. And it's an exclusive, it sucks. This is 20 bucks everywhere. A far better figure, I'm just gonna say right off the bat. So here's all the rays, including the speeder one, which I might as well just take off. We're gonna see if she fits on here, which she should later. So I just wanna get really close. This one comes with the little garments and the goggles up top when she's scavenging, just like in the basic figure. It does not come with the six inch for some reason. Maybe it'll be a later edition with that included, but includes the uh, little staff and is colored, unlike the basic one. And you can see right here, the difference is the basic head does not look as good as the Black Series head. However, you can see the window in the packaging there. The gloves that are included are not included right there. So you can put that little scavenging outfit on and it works out great. However, we already have this figure in this. So I'm really mad that we have gloves here. I'm not really cool with that. Uh, I wish there was separate hams they can swab out or maybe just not include the gloves. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep this or not, but here's the packaging. There's a picture of Ray right there. Same exact picture of it on the Black Series 6 inch one. They just flipped it. That's all. Right here on the side, Ray Jakku. It Ray. And then there's no number because it's an exclusive. On the back here, you can pause and read that if you'd like to. And nothing else. I right, start off with the Black Series staff. So here's the basic staff. And I'm going to flip it to where it's supposed to be, about right there. It's pretty much the same exact sculpt. There might be a little more definition for the tape. But besides that, it's pretty much the damn exact same. Okay, there at the bottom, you can see the sculpt is different. But uh, besides that, and there's really no advantage that this staff has compared to the basic. And here's the six inch version. You see that the coloring is different. The staff is more of like a dark blue, like a slate blue, rather than a gray silver included with the three and three quarters. You also see the tape color is different. It's more of a cream tape there, and it's more of like a gray silver tape here as well as beige in between. And there's no beige in between on this staff at all. And the, of course the color is nearly the same, but it's also a little different. It's like, you know, that expired mustard I was telling you about. This staff is actually more of like a really old interior car cloth from the 70s type deal compared to this one. So the staff is eh, I don't know. So real quick, the outfit pretty much looks just the same compared to the six inch version. You can see actually the uh, undershirt is more of a beige that matches a little curtain drapage compared to the six inch version. It's got white undershirt. So that's something that the six inch version succeeds on. Which head looks more like Ray? That's hard to say. Both really don't, but probably that one looks more like Daisy Ridley. But obviously this one's head sculpt is better than the basic version. You can see that this looks like a Barbie, or like a doll. This actually looks more like Daisy Ridley. You can see the square cutouts here for the leg articulation. Here it's hidden, which is great. I'm assuming there's also a way you can pop this head off and put it on there if I want to keep this figure because uh, this figure does not have the gloves. Why does this figure have the gloves? We have this figure already. You can also see real quick right now, these figures are completely different. Let's put her stuff on and show you. Dude, her head has to pop off to put that on. Holy crap, okay. Well, that's easy if I wanted to put it on this figure. So, you have to put her arm through here. All right. That looks cool. I'm not going to lie. That does look cool. So here are the rays. They are completely different. Goggles, different color. Top wrap is the same color. Looks like the curtain is the same color wrap there. It looks like the rest of the curtain is more of a green olive on the basic that's included with the vehicle compared to the more... I would say accurate screen representation of the cloth. It's more of a neutral, desaturated beige on the Black Series version. So that's cool. The belt you can see here, the pouch is nice on both figures. The belt's nearly the same brown. It's more of a realistic brown here, more than a red hue of a brown on that belt. And of course, the curtain drapage is molded onto the leg rather than separated, as in this one, which is better on this one. Obviously. See the gloves are a different color. Also see you have more hand articulation. I'll get to that later. For some reason we have a little line slit for, I don't know if that's just mine, but she has a slit on the back of her curtain for the basic vehicle one. And on here, there isn't any, which is good. 
but you can pretty much see it's the exact same sculpt. Just might be a little bit finer detailed on the black series. You can see that here on the basic, this little shoulder guard thing kind of pops out and stays out. This one is retracted and she can still move her arm. You also see on the top there the little cutout. And here are the boots. They're a different color. This one's more of a green. This one's more of a brown. This one's obviously better detailed. Also has, you can see the coloring there, horrible. Not hidden at all. Hasbro did not paint green on the feet articulation. So there's the comparisons of the two scavenging outfits. You see there she comes with a little like satchel type deal with a canteen slash water bottle. It's pretty much the exact same sculpt for the Black Series, except they decided to paint the water bottle. So there's really no advantage or disadvantage. It's already backpacked up for you. This one is uh, just behind the pack-in. You can still do the same exact thing. So no real advantage here besides silver paint. So yes, head sculpt is better. She still has rosy cheeks for some damn reason. I don't think that's cool at all. A little bit of lipstick on here. She has no rosy cheeks, but still a lipstick. For some reason, they did a better job painting the basic one than this Black Series version. Kind of weird. You also see this little dimple there. I think that might be from the scavenging type deal, but it's not included on here. So uh, that's kind of interesting. I already talked about her cloth wrap. It looks really good. There's the satchel. I mean, the detail's nice besides that stupid paint defect. You can see on the articulation right there on the elbow, they used bridges. They did a nice, oh, that's not on that side. A little bit there. So maybe not all the way, but on this side, they include the ridges to hide the articulation. Here they did not. So that kind of sucks. Hands going to 360, and they also pivot in, so that's good. Head obviously goes on 360 because it pops off. Torso on a 360. Her legs should have a lot of articulation, but it might be hindered by this curtain stuff, and it pretty much is, but we're gonna test it out. I guess that's one good thing about this basic, man. It's not prohibited by the curtain because it's within the curtain. So she really cannot sit down. Yes, she can, okay, it's gonna take a while. But you can move that rubber, and she can sit down. She does have kind of near articulation. Oh God, these figures, man. But she really doesn't sit. She can lay in a vehicle, but she really can't do this. There we go. I think we got it now, ish. That's as much sitting as you're gonna get from her. So she can kind of do it, but it looks kind of awkward. There's that. Can she do the John claude Van Damme? Not really. This is an awkward figure. I mean, still deheaded. There we go. Showed you the knees. You can see how ugly the articulation is still included there. Not painted. You can obviously go into 360 at the leg. As I say, that doesn't work. There we go. So feet. She can tiptoe in her Jordans. Yeah. Decent amount. Goes up. Decent amount. Of course, you have your pegs and trademarks. They're on the bottom. This just looks really awkward, folks. I'm not going to lie. If she's not scavenging. This figure is uh, kind of stupid because she's still wearing her gloves. So this figure to me only works if you don't have this one. And I don't know which one officially is screen accurate. I think this one might be, but this one actually looks pretty good. So let's put her on the vehicle and see if she fits. Uh, Houston, we might have a problem because of uh, the lack of foresight on Hasbro's part. I don't think this Ray Black Series is gonna fit on this vehicle, which is her speeder bike, which she pretty much uses this outfit to scavenge with. And because of the damn skirt, it does not fit on, guys. I'm pretty sure this is going back to the store. This is a very disappointing figure. This is the sole purpose of keeping this girl, was to have her scavenger outfit on the damn speeder bike. The hands are just so fragile, it doesn't even grip the, the handle here. For, Oh my god, there we go. Jesus. Nope, it doesn't come off. Dude, I'm about to throw this figure right now. <laughs> I'm about to throw it. I'm about to throw it, people. <sighs> it does not work like it's supposed to. Okay, we got a foot in. We got kind of a foot in. Now let's get, bend it like Beckham and put it on the thing. You can't. Okay, I give up. You can't. You just can't. They did not give enough room for the skirt. This figure is going back to the store. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's going back to the store. What am I going to give the Black Series Ray 
three and three quarters out of ten. I, I'm I'm not happy, folks. The whole reason I got her, if you have to have her with the gloves on, she has to have her little scavenger stuff on. But this basic one, as sucky as the cutouts are, it works on the vehicle. She fits fine. The damn Black Series one, she doesn't. If she has her gloves on, she has to have the scavenger outfit on because it looks stupid without the gloves. This figure sucks, people. I'm sorry. I mean, what, what differences does this have over the basic? The basic's fine. The head sculpt. Okay, well, I'm going to pop this off and pop this head on this one. Boom. Done. This figure blows, guys. I'm going to give it like a 2 or a 3 out of 10. I'm going to give it a 3 because uh, you can probably have it like this. And it does look okay, but does not fit on the damn speeder bike vehicle, so it's pointless. So the only reason you can have this girl is to have her with just this stuff and the little satchel. Besides that, this figure sucks, folks. Yeah, if you already have this one, it's just fine. You're wasting your money with this. And this girl would be just fine. And just uh, take this head and put it on that one. Thanks guys very much for watching. A 3 out of 10. This gets the wasted seal of disapproval. This is why I do this, guys, to save you money. So thanks very much for watching. If you have $13 and you want to buy this, save up 7 and buy her or seven and buy this i think this is price point at 20 or 25. this is only 7.99 ish so this black series figure is going back to the store sorry let's get someone that actually is a decent eh, this one woman kind of sucks but she knocked her ass out thanks guys very much for watching may the force be with you i'm gal gadot oh no don't do it don't do it she has a family <sighs> Get rid of the elbow drop! Get rid of the elbow drop! <gasps> and this artwork, this never really happened in the movie with an explosion of Ray going outward. So this is more of a concept piece. As you see here, I'm gonna get close. You have Ray and her little scavenger outfit, her stuff on the side, and her speeder itself. So it's just incredible artwork.